Anyapo is a fishing community, but residents complain the fishing business is no longer booming. Onion farming has therefore become their new source of livelihood. About 85% of women depend on this for survival. Awunye is over 70 years. I can no longer farm like I used to, so when it gets to the season, this is what I live on. Benis Kudaya is a widow. She takes care of her six children single-handedly, and this is her only source of livelihood. I am doing this to cater for my family, especially the children, because we have no helper. But their employer, David Dugbate, says doing business has become costly. Our challenge is that we don't have land. Fertilizer is also expensive and we don't have enough funding. Folding up the business will mean over 85% of women in Anyapo will be unemployed. The effect on education will be massive. Rahel is one of the people whose life will be affected. She's a 17-year JHS graduate. Rahel's asthmatic condition is not conducive for doing this, but she has no option. I can't believe for her. Unless I'm standing here. That smell is worrying me too much. My father stays at Akusumbo, but he doesn't take care of me. And my, my mother too, she's dead. These dreams may not be achieved if things remain unchanged for the employer. As of today, about 95% of the people living within this coastal belt uh, dwell so much on what these farming activities. That's the as what their main livelihood today. Or that is not there, uh, I don't think they will be in the position even to take care of their children at school. David Okanse is the assemblyman for Anyapo. If you come to Anyapo at the Deche Kopi, even up to El Avenue here, I think uh, part of what uh, the water that we've been drawing for the water are very, very salty. So our concern is that if the assembly can take it upon his what show this by uh, giving us what uh, water, not necessarily what. Uh, the one from the, the tap, uh -huh. something like water, a tunnel that can yeah, uh -huh, that can come directly. That whoever wants to what to farm with it, you only go and then what uh, tap it to your farm at the end of the month. Uh, maybe if there's a meter meant to what, to measure that, you'll be paid something. Women in Anyapo as well as Rahel can only pray for some intervention for these farmers to realize their dreams. <laughs>